Recording in progress. Hello, students. Presenting to you here the unit nanomaterials of your B Tech first year syllabus. First, let us look at what all is there in your syllabus. Also, please subscribe to the channel before proceeding further to avail additional benefits which are there only for subscribers of the channel. Introduction and properties of nanomaterials. In this heading, you can expect questions in section A like, what is nanotechnology? What are the two properties of nanomaterials? What do you mean by the word nanomaterial, etc.? Basic concept of quantum dots, quantum wires, and quantum well. You can expect a 10 mark question in section C asking you to write a short note on quantum approach towards nanomaterials. Fabrication of nanomaterials, there are two approaches top-down approach that is the chemical vapor deposition method and bottom-up approach that is the sol gel approach. So you can be asked any one of these approaches for making nanomaterials. And lastly, you can expect last question of your paper asking you to write down the various applications along with properties of nanomaterials. This is a theoretical part of your paper, not having any numerical in it. So you have to write lengthy answers for this unit. Let us begin. The very common question which was asked many times from this unit was, what is nanotechnology? Give important applications of nanotechnology. Okay, first let us understand nano. Nano comes from the word nine. That means you are studying anything on the scale of 10 to the power of minus nine. That means nanoscience can be defined as the study of phenomena and manipulation of materials on atomic, molecular or macromolecular scales because these scales will compress the size, make it small. So a branch of engineering which is dealing with the design and manufacture of extremely small electronic circuits and mechanical devices which have been built at molecular level of matter are studied under nanotechnology and nano means 10 to the power of minus 9. A nanometer is 1000 millionth of a meter. Nanomaterials can be defined as those materials which have structured components with size less than 100 nanometer at least in one dimension. At bulk material, we will take the size expressing it at three dimensions, planar, two dimension and linear as one dimension. So what are the properties of nanomaterial? Nanoscale materials are very much different from those at larger scale. The two principal factors that cause the properties to differ significantly are increased relative surface area and the quantum effects. Quantum meaning the smaller sized effects. These can enhance or change properties of even a chemical reaction that is reactivity, can change the strength of a material, can change the electrical characteristics, etc. Two important properties which you should be knowing of nanomaterials are increase in surface area to volume ratio. Nanomaterials have large surface area when compared to the volume of bulk material. Suppose you take a sphere. In science, we know that sphere has the smallest area. Then its area is 4 pi r square volume is 4 by 3 pi r square. So the ratio of surface area to volume comes out as 3 upon r, where r is radius of sphere. So when radius of the sphere decreases, its surface area to volume ratio increases. As particle size decreases, greater proportions of atoms are found at the surface compared to those inside. Thus, nanoparticles have greater surface to volume ratio. 
it makes the material more chemically reactive as growth and catalytic chemical reactions occur at surfaces these effects strengthen the electrical properties quantum confinement see when dimensions atoms are isolated energy levels are discontinuous when large number of atoms is closely packed to form a solid the energy level splits and bands are formed nanomaterials represent intermediate state so quantum confinement means that when dimensions of potential well or potential box come under the order of de broglie wavelength of electrons or mean free path of electrons then energy levels of electrons changes this is known as quantum confinement of the nanoparticles nanoparticles are the physical properties the effect of reducing the bulk size into particle size is to create more surface site this changes the surface pressure and results in a change in the interparticle spacing the change in interparticle spacing and large surface to volume ratio in particle have a combined effect on the material properties many nano materials you must have heard about nano tubes nano wires quantums nano clusters graphene buckminster fullerens bucky balls etc now in your syllabus firstly you are having the quantum uh category of nano ones that is the quantum well quantum wire and quantum dot we will study in the next lecture